it promises to get you from Houston to Dallas in just 90 minutes. And tonight, the Texas high-speed bullet train has zipped right on through another major hurdle by getting the approval of federal officials. That approval from Washington is what the company was waiting for in order to begin construction. And now Texas Central Railroad says they expect work to begin in the first half of the year. Our senior reporter Phil Archer is live in Northwest Houston tonight where near the site where Houston passengers would board that bullet train. Phil? Well, the plan is to put the train's Houston terminal here at Northwest Mall. And today, the company that wants to build it said recent federal rulings mean that the project can move forward. But opponents are saying there are still many hurdles that have to be cleared before construction can begin, and that it's likely to be years before we know when or if that's going to happen. The U.S. Department of Transportation released what's called the Rule of Applicability today, which sets safety standards for the high-speed system, and also something called the Record of Decision, which completes the first environmental review of the proposed railroad. According to the company, it puts the system one step closer to breaking ground, now scheduled for 2021. And in the words of Mayor Sylvester Turner, it will, quote, create connections and opportunities never before thought possible. The Texas Central Railroad proposes to build a Japanese high-speed train system running 240 miles from Dallas to Houston through 11 rural counties at a cost of $30 billion. The plan still faces stiff opposition from thousands of landowners along the route. Kyle Workman is with Texans Against High-Speed Rail. While these may be steps in the process, they're not huge steps. Um, because they don't, they, they, they don't give them any authority to, to construct or operate. Workman says the design still has several more hurdles to clear, including ridership studies and completion guarantees, before it can receive final approval. And it is currently being challenged in the Texas Supreme Court. And Workman contends Texas Central still doesn't have enough money to even begin construction. They're going to have to raise the $30 billion. So until they can figure out how to get that $30 billion, we're not moving anything. The Federal Railroad Administration has yet to confirm the approvals cited by the company today, and we tried to get Texas Central to comment for this story, but so far our calls have not been returned. Reporting live in Northwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.